much for taking time out of your day to jump on a call. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Congratulations on your recent win there at Invicta 35. How are you feeling? Pretty good. I've just been sleeping and eating a lot, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I mean, you just had a few stitches out. Are you looking to take a little summer break, or are you wanting to get back in the cage as soon as possible? I might take like a short break a month at the most but other yeah. than that probably get back to it pretty quickly very cool actually looking at topology which is only correct probably 25 percent of the time but uh, you're on a, a an 11 fight win streak your your only win our loss came back at in 2014 as an ammy to cal schwartz who actually fights for invict fc as a straw weight is that ever a rematch that comes to mind or you're like nah, i'm past it oh we actually asked her for a rematch um like when it happened and she said oh. no she like went down a couple weight classes so oh, okay i see <laughs> running from you <laughs> that's awesome is there any opponents out there that make sense to you for your next fight i don't know i don't really think about it i kind of let my manager look at people and when they come around i'll you know pay attention <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, you train out there at American Top Team out in Portland, uh, just filled with warriors. You got Ed Herman, you got Austin Vanderford and Ricky Simon, and you've been in the fight game for a long time. When you get into fights in the cage, are you able to hear your coach still, or are you kind of just so focused on, you know, the fight that everything else is a blur? You know, like uh, my first five fights, I didn't hear them at all, but as I started fighting more, like now I can hear pretty much everything they're saying. Nice. Yeah. try to do at least 70 percent of that so <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely what are you feeling right before you fight are you getting nervous or do you ever have fear that comes over you at all usually just being down there waiting for so long okay like it's it's weird just going through your normal day at the beginning of the day knowing that you're gonna fight in like four hours or whatever it is <laughs> yeah i don't really get like too nervous though okay um yeah i usually get pretty calm like right when i walk out your nickname i think it used to be the strangler but now it's called battle angel is that correct yeah okay how'd you get the nickname battle angel well it's actually from the movie have you seen alita no i haven't is it one that i should um, go watch yeah it's okay. about cyborg so it's pretty oh, cool oh sweet like, okay there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably talk more about it when it's actually because I'm about to get married. That's why it's changing. Like oh, okay. my last name is Spangler, that it won't really make sense to be Strangler. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. Hey, what what made you decide to get into MMA and and you know how did you get started in it? Well, I played football for ten years. And then okay. I went straight into wrestling in high school. So I've just always liked contact sports. Yeah. It seems like the, I don't know, the natural progression. <laughs> right, sure. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, you have a twin sister. What did your, your twin and your, your uh, parents think of you when you were like, hey, I want to go fight in a cage? <laughs> well, that's actually kind of an inside joke. She's not actually my twin. She's oh, she's not? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> But my parents always thought it was cool, so they've never oh, okay. been like against me fighting. Very cool. So I got five rapid fire questions for you, if that's all right. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you posted some pictures of your garden. What are you growing? Like cauliflower and broccoli and some tomatoes and lettuce, stuff okay. like that. Come on. There's actually it's over there. Oh, very cool. Okay. Nice. Do you have a favorite type of music or favorite band that you listen to? I don't know grunge alternative stuff okay. like that i saw you wearing a pearl I'm jam shirt in one of your shirt right now ah tool i love tool such a great band maynard's have... a pretty eccentric guy so have you seen them live no not yet but okay. i want to eventually i i saw them play live at the gorge in like 99 and uh then i've seen perfect circle twice and they are amazing amazing to see live I want to see them eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wedding list, right? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you going to take me to Tool? I think I'm around. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I think I saw you post some uh, knitted hats and stuff like that. And uh, do you sell those? Do people Can people buy your knitted hats from you? Well, <laughs> actually, there's still two I'm working on. I'm really oh, okay. bad at finishing projects. I'm the kind of person who will like, start a bunch of them and never finish them. Just because gotcha. I get bored of one and move on to the next. Yeah. I mean, I might sell a few of them okay. if I ever like, finish the ones that I'm already working on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What's your favorite holiday? 
Halloween. Halloween? Yes. Are you, do you already have your Halloween costume picked out for this year? No. I'm, oh, okay. I'm a procrastinator. I pick things like <laughs> an hour before they're happening. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> uh, the last question for you, when you're not fighting in the cage or training, what are you doing for fun? I like to go mountain biking Yeah. at the moment. Okay. Very nice. So. Very nice that and we're gonna go kayaking sometimes we play disc golf i'm not very good at disc golf but <laughs> i try well lisa i also wanted to give you an opportunity to uh give a shout out to coaches teammates sponsors anybody like that as well make sure they got a shout out there hard winter strength and conditioning um he's, he's over there <laughs> you can see him <laughs> That's um, awesome. papa joe's barbecue jurassic cart um no bad days ranch or actually NBD Unlimited. I think those are my sponsors. Uh, obviously, Fabiano and everyone at American Top Team. Uh, Ian King, uh, my other corner. What? Oh, Rudy Garza, my boxing coach. He's <laughs> like giving me notes over there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <sighs> that's perfect thank you so much for taking time and, and chatting with me today yeah thanks it was fun thank you so much for watching the show please subscribe to our channel would really appreciate that if you could please give us a follow on facebook instagram and twitter as well and please check back we're always bringing on awesome people for the top rated mma show and entrepreneurs world changers and success-minded people for the bearded biz show thanks so much have an awesome day